Hey guys, I'm really excited for today's video because we're gonna be doing a good old fashioned care vlog. It's actually pitch black outside. It's the middle of the night. <laughs> pitch black. And everyone in my house is asleep except Bismarck, I guess. <laughs> I do wanna mention the week that this video goes up and the following week, I'll only have a Monday upload, no Friday uploads. My sisters and I and a bunch of friends are going to Thailand, which I'm really excited about. The plant life in Thailand, you guys. <laughs> Outside of that, on my to-do list, I have clean IKEA shelf. It is so dirty. I haven't cleaned it since probably last February. I wanted to show you a new plant I just got and then also a few little updates. You know, should we do that right now, actually? Yeah. I wanted to show you the updates on my jade plant babies. So I potted these up in my a hydrophobic plant video. It was my jade, jade succulent was hydrophobic. So we fixed that in it and I removed a couple of little babies that were growing. So these are the two little babies that I repotted in that video. And if I give them a little tug, this is really exciting to me, but you can see like a whole bunch of the soil comes up with it. That means that it's rooted. Let's check the other one. Ooh, this one might even be more rooted than the other one because it's really hard to pull up. Okay, I wanted to show you that update. Just set it there for now. I also just got the rest of my supplies for my soil mix. So I'm going to mix up the rest of that. And then I will also be spraying a bathtub full of plants for mealybugs. What do I want to do first is the question. Let's spray some plants, get that out of the way. Hey, welcome to my grow tent at night. Uh, all right, so here's what we have going on. You guys are probably already aware I've had a mealybug outbreak, but we are at the tail end of it. I am so certain. Everything on this side of the tent, I'm spraying down with Captain Jack's to finally be done with the mealies. And then once they're sprayed, I'm moving them to this side. Well, this one is one I'm gonna spray today. So it's here, but it's about to be sprayed. It can hang. My process so far, I've been starting more with my smaller plants. I don't know why those seem the most stressful to me. I'm wanting to get them out of the way first. Welcome to my dirty basement bathroom. I just have my pressurized sprayer filled with Captain Jack's dead bug concentrate and water. I mixed it according to the package instructions. And I'm just gonna go through and individually spray each of my plants. And when I'm spraying them, oh, I need to pump it. Silly me. Come on. I just really try to hit it from every direction as I spray, uh, including the drainage holes, tops of the substrate, and then the undersides of each leaf as well as the top of each leaf and in all of the little leaf crevasses. <laughs> Anywhere that mealybugs could be hiding, I am just trying to douse. And then set it to the side to dry. That's my process. <laughs> it is a little bit tedious, especially where I do have like so many small propagations and stuff. A Little bit of a pain in the butt, but of course it's worth it. If it wasn't worth it, I would just get rid of my plants. What shows are you guys watching lately? That is my big question. Like I'm not really big in love reality shows other than Love is Blind and Married at First Sight. I'm really not enjoying this season of Love is Blind. Like I think it's starting to get to the point that I feel like The Bachelor got to where it feels fake and people are going on it just to get famous and not have to have a normal job anymore. <laughs> The Golden Bachelor is different. I'm like scared to age. I kind of feel like Golden Bachelor is going to really change a lot of our mindsets that we can still, even as we get old, we can like still have exciting lives. That's maybe dramatic, but I'm a dramatic person. <laughs> I really, really like it. And I think that, yes, it's like a cheesy love show. It gives me good feelings and also sad feelings. It gives me feelings. Period. If I wasn't filming this video, I would be watching, listening to a show while I did this to keep my mind occupied. But wow, maybe I should just stop doing that and start just filming random podunk, old fashioned vlogs like this <laughs> instead of wasting time watching shows like that. They're probably really bad for my brain. I want to do a Q&A video here soon. So if there's any questions you have about, you know, same thing, anything, 
I would love to answer them. I'll be filming that video first couple weeks of November. If you have any questions that have been boiling in within you, then feel free to ask in time for that video. Captain Jack's, don't know if it's recommended, don't know if I would recommend it, doing it inside, but I am. So I feel obligated to say from the research I did, it's not dangerous for humans or pets. Would I like go spraying this into my dog's eyes or mouth? No. Would I spray this onto my kid's flesh? No, I would not. Would I do this with them in the room? No, I would not. Pretty much empty. The tub is almost completely filled. So I think this is where I'm gonna call it quits. I'm just gonna leave these in here to dry overnight. And then tomorrow, whenever I get the time, I'll move them back into the tent. But you guys don't need to be here for that. And you're, let's move on. Okay, we're back. So this is, this is the terrarium. I'm like trying to show you how long it is. Let me show you. It's six feet long. Okay. Wait, how tall do you guys think I am? It's taller than me. And also, what zodiac sign do you think I am? <laughs> what zodiac sign are you? I, I am very much, okay. I think majority of you are probably Tauruses or Aquariuses. Aquarii? Mm. Anyway, this is the terrarium. I wanna build a bog garden currently. Have my newest plant quarantining in here, which is this Dioscoria discolor. Uh, it's beautiful. This freaking ugly booby light up there just is not doing this justice. I've had it probably for two weeks now. I think I'm gonna give it another, probably until I get back from my trip before I repot it and find a more permanent spot for it. But yeah, I've learned the hard way to just freaking isolate my new plants. <laughs> it's not worth it to get that one new plant and end up with months of agony over a mealy bug infestation in your grow tent that you've tried everything under the sun to get rid of. Look at that, look at this new leaf. This is a new leaf since I've had it. Oh, and I was fully expecting this to shrivel up and maybe die, but I don't know why. Sometimes I feel like I'm worse with plants than I actually am. And then like, sometimes they thrive when I think they're gonna die. And I'm like, what the? Yes. Okay. This is my potting mix mess. Ew, there's a mosquito down here. Oh no, it's a fly. <laughs> Got him. The other day I filmed myself mixing this, this bin up. I'm gonna insert that now and then we'll get into the rest of this stuff. So I have my cocoa brick down here and a jug of, no, this is not Arizona iced tea. This is liquid art. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add in a bunch of sphagnum petals. Horticultural charcoal. Dusty orchid bark. Okay. Here I just have a couple of my big totes. I'm mixing my new stuff. This super chunky, big piece perlite. Very chunky, excellent drainage. So yeah, I, I'm just not gonna use the small perlite anymore because a lot of the times they get crushed up and this will probably get crushed up too, but where they're such big pieces, it's not gonna happen as easily. So a bunch of this. I also have vermiculite, so pretty. Just look at it. It has really great moisture retention and also nutrient retention properties. It's a little bit chunkier so that it adds a nice texture and like a little bit of aeration and drainage to the mix. I think it's really pretty and like I've talked about it before. Straight up, I spend a lot of money on my potting mix ingredients, but it's just definitely a, an area where I'm willing to splurge a little bit because I enjoy having pretty potting mix that I know is gonna serve my plants well and works well for my 
overwatering habits. You know, that's just what it comes down to. So I'm willing to spend a little extra money on it. If you're wanting to splurge on maybe like one or two additives for your soil, go for the cocoa chips and the coarse perlite. Those are the two things that I would add to like maybe a pre-bagged mix that's a little bit more affordable to really amp it up. Vermiculite, horticultural charcoal, uh, orchid bark. Ooh, that's dusty. Maybe I should have rinsed it. This is such a beautiful potting mix. Are any of you guys the same way that you like, you like want your potting mix to be pretty? Cause we have to look at it too. So I want it to look like satisfying to me. And this definitely, this definitely looks satisfying to me. Ooh. It looks like marshmallows. Maybe I need some more. Oh my gosh, okay, another little side note. I've been talking, speaking with the liquider owner who is so incredibly nice and like very passionate about his business. And you guys already know, I'm like really, I really, really love liquider. It's my go-to. It is a small business local to me. It's kind of looking like liquider might, I don't know if this is inappropriate for me to tell you. Should I ask permission first? No, I'm just gonna tell you. They might have to close soon. And what made me think of this, this big brick of cocoa chips and then also the cocoa coir and um, sphagnum petals. I always soak in uh, liquid water. So, you know, when you have to hydrate it because it comes in like a dehydrated brick this big. All those things I hydrate with liquid so that I know that there's nutrients in my mix. Yeah, that's what made me think of it. But if you guys have tried liquid and like liquid or trust like my opinion on them and i even have to check what my code is because i feel like i haven't shared it in that long but i really don't want them to go under i'm very passionate actually about them not closing so let me go find uh, my code it's harley g underscore 25 for 25 percent off your order i got mine pre-covid and i'm just barely about to run out like i'm gonna have to order my next pouch here soon but it lasts a really long time if you're diluting it properly which i do have a full video on how you're supposed to dilute it but if you're diluting it properly it's going to last you a long time i literally use it with like most of my waterings i would say probably 80 percent of my waterings i use liquid dirt it's something i really love i really believe in my plants seem to do really really well with it and where it's not the only thing i use anymore uh, i have i have started using Osmocote granules in some cases for some of my heavier feeders, not every plant, but I do think that it's something plants really do well on. I really, really believe that and I wouldn't recommend it to you if I didn't think so. You can use it as a foliar spray on your plants. It doesn't smell. Uh, there's just like a lot of purposes for it. You can use it in your vegetable garden because it is all organic. There is my mix. Like you see how how freaking chunky that is. I could probably add a little bit more orchid bark into this one, but my hands are feeling pretty raw for mixing this so much. Um, and I'm not trying to break my nails. They're getting a little bit long. So I'm gonna go scrub underneath them. So this can, I should probably just get something to, I should get like a shovel or something to mix this. But I don't have that readily available right now. Okay, we're just gonna leave this for now. Let's close up the tent. <laughs> Turn off the lights because, yeah, I'm not going to do a workout down here tonight. It's much too late for that. Turn off my grow lights in there that I turned on. Blow some goodnight kisses. 
for better growth pro tip <laughs> just kidding well maybe i could turn off my computer now i was uploading a video can i turn it off yeah it's uploaded okay turn off the computer Was that everything down here? Yeah. Now we're gonna go clean my IKEA cabinet and let Bismarck outside. Do you need to go potty? No? Okay. Oh. Hmm. Cross off those things off the list. My last little task for today, which I'm really excited to be doing, I have this bad habit of sometimes I put things off even though I'm really excited to do them and like they need to be done because I wanna film a video when I do it. I don't know, it's just more fun with you guys. Anyway, yeah, I do just kind of put things off <laughs> for that reason, which I need to get better at, but it's just more fun if I, have someone to talk to while I do it. And I know like in the back of my mind, you're watching this and you're like probably getting some stuff done yourself. I don't know actually, do you, when you watch my videos, are you doing your plant chores with me at the same time or are you, oh my gosh, this is gonna bloom. This is my holiday, my schlumbergera. This is my holiday or Thanksgiving cactus, but it's starting to get little buds. These tiny little balls on the very tippy tops of all of these bracts will be very bright pink. Maybe I should do a video about like my favorite blooming plants, but this one is definitely up there because it blooms freaking once it starts to bloom, it blooms for like eight months. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's a really good one if you appreciate some blooms. Um, in fact, I wanna get some more varieties of it and I wanna get an Easter one. I want them in every color, honestly. It's just so fun and exciting when a plant blooms, you know? Like getting a new leaf is exciting. Don't get me wrong, it's exciting, but getting a new bloom is like top tier. And grandma and grandpa. If any of you guys remember, I kind of mentioned a while ago that I wasn't gonna clean this off or like rearrange these plants because soon we were gonna move this out and do built-in shelves, which that's still the long-term plan, but um, Ryan is building the shelves from scratch and the like cabinets from scratch that'll go right here, which is a process in itself, but also he just has a lot going on. Um, he's a busy dude. Can you see how freaking messy this is and I cannot get this bad boy to stay for the life of me. So let's try a Velcro 3M. I'm gonna use my Tammy Taylor sanitize, sanitize, sanitize because I have so many bottles of this that I'm just not working through fast enough because I don't do nails anymore. And I have freaking too many bottles of it. Yeah, this is disgusting. I really hope that these are gonna stick because I've had the freaking hardest time getting this damn light only on this top one to stick and stay. It always is falling off, but hopefully 100th time is the charm. And usually I do have better luck with the uh, Velcro strips rather than the regular old 3Ms. I think cause they're thicker. Please freaking stay. Come on universe, let this be the time. <laughs> this Syndapsis Silver Cloud is like kind of growing everywhere. Back there, all the way to over there. And it looks like this might start climbing up the wall, which I think would be really cool. So I'm trying not to move it for as long as possible until we're absolutely ready to move in the new shelf. Just gonna have to like use my muscles to lift it. Oh gosh, I need to repot it. Dang. It's not gonna be able to stay here for much longer, which is pretty unfortunate. Because I am using this metal planter as a cover pot 
for the nursery pot because there's no drainage in it. So it just kind of fills up with water and it's getting pretty rusty in there. Flaking off, there's like a hole. Dang, that's a bummer. Oh well, it's fine, it's fine, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Like, I knew this was coming. Someday soon I'll be repotting it in a video. Maybe I'll hang it somewhere because it is getting pretty long. Okay, this is feeling so much nicer. Yay, this is so satisfying. I don't even remember the last time I wiped this. Okay, it's all wiped off. So much better. I'm gonna move everything back now. Sorry if the audio is really weird on this one. I, oh my gosh, let me tell you about the freaking drama. I filmed a video I freaking loved. It was my favorite plant project I've done lately. It was kind of a small one, but a fun one and a really satisfying one. I did like a wire trellis thing for my abutilon or flowering maple. It was just kind of a spur of the moment up like film for me, which lately I've been kind of having to plan out <laughs> my content because I don't have as much free time to film. Yeah, it was one I was able to randomly film. It was so fun. And then, you know what's crazy? I went to edit it and in the very first clip, first 10 seconds of the clip, I was standing there going, hello, 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 boop, boop, boop. Okay. To make sure my mic was working and like I was standing really close watching my audio gauge to make sure it was going because I have really bad eyes. I can't see my gauge from here and tell that it's like going, you know, so I have to stand really close. Anyway, I backed up to do the damn project and the audio just freaking stopped and never came back on. Oh, that was so unlucky. I don't know what happened because I literally just stepped back and it stopped going. It's not the battery. It's not, I don't know what the deal was. So how to get a new mic, just completely lost that video. Unfortunately, I'm gonna try and refilm it, but on a different plant. I just don't have, I just don't know what plant I wanna do that yet. Moral of that story, I had to get a new mic, which is this one. I mean, I don't know, let me know how this audio is. I'm really terrible with technology. So, and especially with audio, especially where I freaking move all over the place. And sometimes I have to be quiet because the kids are napping. Sometimes I get too excited and I scream. It's hard to keep it level. I don't know how the ASM artists do it. <laughs> Anywho, I do so far really like it. I don't know, I have this thing that my mic like clips into and it clips on my pants. On my last one, the cord was like way too long and got so tangled. It was just such a mess all the time and freaking hard for me to keep control of. It just felt like too much, but I was a little worried this one was gonna be a little too short. I'm so glad I went with this one because it really is, it's the perfect length. I can like pull my pants down to go to the bathroom and not have to undo my full mic setting. So it's long enough for me to do that, but not so long that it's just like a tangled knot of a mess. <laughs> That's important to me and it might be important to you. Now my favorite part, putting the plants back. I'm not gonna change too much about my setup because I quite like how I had it all situated on here. Um, yeah. Was this right here or was it? I honestly don't remember. Dang, I can't remember. Oh well, it's fine. Except now, I put this here. So it can be front and center for when it blooms. Dang it, I should have paid closer attention. I was just too excited to get this done, I think. This is fine. I'm happy with this. Again, it is only temporary and, and, until Ryan finishes those um, shelves. Let's turn them on. Ta-da! Let's put my deer up here. <gasps> my little reindeer. Oh, cute. Yes. And then I can put my candle back here. Oh, so much better. It smells so nice and feels so clean. Let's turn these off. That was the last thing on my dish, dish. <laughs> I'm dreading doing the dishes, so that's where my mind's at. But anyway, that's the last thing on my list other than dishes, which I'm gonna go do now, but I will be watching Golden Bachelor and maybe 
the new episode of Jujutsu Kaisen, although I don't know if I'm emotionally ready for that. I think this new episode is the one where the thing happens that I'm dreading and I don't know if I'm ready. I hope this was fun. I had a really, really good time hanging out with you, doing some plant care things. It feels like the olden days. I definitely need to do more of this, but again, please leave your rec video recommendations down below, whatever you would like to see. I am all ears, okay? I'm all ears, so do you wanna come say hi? Bismarck is sitting here licking me. Maybe he wants to say hi to you. So, yeah. Oh, you are so freaking handsome. You need a haircut, though, and you're a little stinky. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Oh, you good boy. I love you. You are a good boy. Do you need to go outside? Okay, let's go outside. <laughs>